Hey, what is up guys? Today we are on the final uh, part of the VPN new to VPN master course. Um, so what we're going to be talking about today is how to use VPN. Now that you've picked a VPN or whether one of the recommended options like ExpressVPN or TorGuard, or you've checked out something on the tier list that you like, um, we're going to be talking about how to do things today. Hey guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and check out my website, vpntierlist.com. This website serves as kind of like an archive of all of my VPN reviews, ranked by tiers. You could click on the VPN to visit the website or the VPN website, the number to visit the review on my YouTube channel, or you could even check out my other tier lists and including my favorite product page where I talk about some of my favorite products I use online day to day. Anyways, back to the video. So today I'm gonna to be using TorGuard and ExpressVPN because they're two ones that I'm subscribed to right now. Um, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is how to use a VPN to torrent content safely. So guys, of course, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to be doing is getting that Qubit torrent application downloaded. This is my favorite torrent application. It's open source, very easy to use, um, low resources used on your computer, no ads, etc. It's the best one in my opinion. There are also some other ones out there that you could check out too if you really want to. But today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a VPN with it. So basically what you're gonna do is go to your download website, whether it's Pirate Bay 1337.to or something like that, you're gonna download the tracker, it's gonna open it up in an application like this and it's gonna look like something like this. So before you start though, before you load that tracker and before you click on the link to download it, what you're gonna be wanting to do is connect to your VPN. Pretty much it's self-explanatory, we're just gonna connect. And then once you're fully connected, you could go ahead and click on that download the magnet link and it will load into um, Qubit Torrent. Now, if you don't wanna use a VPN, you could use something called a SOX5 proxy. Now SOX5 proxy is similar to VPN, but it's different, it's a proxy. Not every VPN provider provides these, however, TorGuard does include it with a basic subscription. Basically what you can do is go to the connection settings, go to type SOX5 proxy.torguard.org, pick either port 1080 or something like 1085. Go ahead and click all these, click authenticate, enter in your TorGuard VPN client credentials, not the website, but the client credentials. Click save, apply, okay. Then your IP will be anonymized right here. Um, it's a little different than VPN because when you're using a VPN, your ISP can't see that you are downloading anything or torrenting anything. When you're doing this, your ISP can see that you're torrenting but you're never gonna be in trouble for downloading anything because the copyright companies that patrol the torrent swarms or people downloading the files, they're just gonna see that anonymous proxy IP. So that's pretty much the go-to way to do torrenting with VPN. It's not very uh, complicated. You pretty much just make sure you have it connected and then you download stuff. That's pretty much it. Now we can talk about how to stream with a VPN as well. And this is actually quite easy as well. So depending on the region you want, you're gonna be wanting to select that region for streaming. So something like ExpressVPN pretty much you stream on most of their servers and you could pretty much pick whatever server you want. That's the benefit of paying a little bit of extra over premium price around $100 a year or $13 a month. So you just pick a server, connect, and you can pretty much just watch anything, whether that's Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, BBC iPlayer. You, of course, you're gonna be wanting to pick the UK server for that. If you wanna watch something like the Japanese version of Netflix, of course, you're gonna be wanting to go to the Japanese server. With something like TorGuard VPN, which is cheaper, um, you're gonna have two streaming IPs. You could get the streaming bundle with code Netflix for 50% off. You're gonna enter in the IPs here, click save, and then you're gonna find the, the, the IPs or the server, the new server that you added right here. You click connect, and then you're just gonna to go to the website and unblock it. So that's how to use VPN for streaming, uh, pretty easy as well, right? Now let's talk about how to troubleshoot a VPN a little bit. Sometimes you'll be trying to connect to a VPN provider and for whatever reason, it says, you know, there's some kind of tunnel issue. There's some kind of issue where you can't connect. Um, there are a couple things you can do to troubleshoot. The first thing I would suggest doing is making sure you have the correct password and lo um, login email. Some VPN providers like TorCard provide a client login and then a website login. So you wanna make sure you're using the, the login credentials for your application. You could change that in your TorGuard account panel on your account settings. Now, talking more about other issues, maybe your VPN won't connect or something like that. Um, what you can do is just uninstall the VPN and uninstall and install it back again. I found that this will um, actually fix a lot of issues um, and it sounds kind of stupid, but this method usually fix most issues if you just reinstall a VPN client. 
Now, if you're experiencing poor speeds with a VPN, what you can try to do is connect to a different server. Sometimes VPN servers are a little bit variable. Sometimes connecting to one closer by, sometimes just picking a different one with lower load times or people are using less can give you better speeds. Not only that, but speeds can be affected by the time of day, whether at night when it's prime time, your speeds are gonna be slower and stuff like in the morning and through the middle of the day, they'll probably be faster because less people are using the servers and less people are just using the internet overall. In terms of speeds also, you can also do things like with TorGuard, you can lower the encryption rate through the cipher settings, lowering these. And um, you know, but you could also play around with protocols. You have two different options here for TorGuard. This one is gonna be very unblockable. This one's also very good. With uh, ExpressVPN, these kind of VPNs, you have options to play around with IkeV2, which is gonna give you fast connection times. It's gonna be pretty comparable to OpenVPN in terms of pure speeds. Um, it might be blocked easier, but faster connection. I mean, and then if you wanted to, you could even get better speeds with some of these older ones, but they're not really recommended for that many use cases. So now let's talk about how to put a VPN on a router. And this is a little bit more in depth. I'm not gonna go into the details here because I've made so many videos going into great detail already. If you wanna check out some of my videos on the channel, I've shown you how to put TorGuard on routers. It's not very hard. You pretty much the concept is you're gonna download this file from TorGuard's website, and then you're gonna open it up into the VPN section on your router. Most routers should be able to do this um, without needing to flash any custom software. Now with something like ExpressVPN, you actually will wanna flash their custom software which can be a little bit trickier, but it's also not too hard to do. And ExpressVPN themselves have a lot of tutorials on how to do that. Next up, we could talk about how to use a VPN on your browser. So guys, if you're wanting to use a VPN on your browser, what you can do is pretty much use a VPN extension. Most of the popular VPNs out there have VPN extensions, just like this one, TorGuard VPN extension. You can add it to your browser and just connect to it like this. It's a SOX5 proxy, not really a VPN, but it's gonna anonymize your IP and give you basic kind of security that way. So that's a good way to use VPN on your browser. Um, and this is especially handy for computers that don't let you install applications or some kind of Chromebooks that won't let you install applications. So that's an easy way to use it. Now, like I said, most VPNs will support some kind of extension like this. Another thing I wanna talk about is how to use VPNs on stuff like Fire Sticks. Now, TorGuard and ExpressVPN both support um, applications on Fire Sticks and they both support applications on most Android TV boxes. So you could download the application and use it pretty much the same way. You can also do it on mobile. And now when you wanna use these kind of applications on PS4, smart TVs and stuff like that, you are gonna to have to use the VPN router methods to get connection. Essentially what you're gonna be doing is making your, your Wi-Fi section or your Wi-Fi signal into something that is using or broadcasting more of a VPN Wi-Fi. It's not too hard and like I said, you could check out the other router tutorials to do that. Anyways, guys, this is just kind of a quick rapid fire rundown of a lot of the things you're gonna be wanting to do with VPN. Um, let me know down in the comments down below for more specific questions and I could help answer those very easily or check out uh, vpnterialist.com and leave a question on that blog post and I'll answer that as well. We got over 100 plus comments lately, so it's really getting to be a good resource for people to go and ask questions, get answers quickly from me. And anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this course. I know I don't have my video on this one, but right now I am smiling, showing you my appreciation for checking out this full course, VPN Noob to VPN Master. I hope by now you understand why you need to use a VPN, you know, what a VPN is, how the tier list works in helping you pick the perfect VPN for your needs, as well as, you know, what to do with a VPN once you have it downloaded. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by and stick around on the channel for more VPN videos and tutorials and just more reviews. See you guys later.